What is going on guys? This is Benny. You bring another Brawl Stars video. We have some exciting news. Supercell has just released a mini shop update, which is going to help support us content creators here like myself. Basically what they released is a creator boost program. So I'm going to show you guys how to boost your favorite creator, how to like basically maybe get a code for yourself later on, and just everything in general with the content creator boost thing here. So how you get to it is click on the shop, and then scroll all the way to the right and then you will see this content creator boost. The cool way to do it is just click the shop, hit resources on the bottom and then just do one scroll. Either way you do about it, it'll get you here. So what this creator boost program is, is a free way to support your creator when you are buying gems. Basically it doesn't increase your costs at all for buying gems or anything. It literally doesn't change anything what you guys do. All it does is support your creator for some of the money that you spend. So basically anytime you buy these gem offers or the gem packs, a small portion of that money when you end up spending the gems goes to that creator. So let's say you buy the $10, 170 gems, and then you go and spend those 170 gems. A little bit of that money that you spent is going to end up going to support your creator, which is amazing because before Supercell obviously would just take all of the profits, but now they, it's really cool and re it feels really awesome that Supercell wants to give back and help out the creators that are making like cool content across their game. And what a creator is, is like, like maybe myself, like a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer, anyone that is making some sort of content around the game. Um, my code is BT1 here if you wanna support me when you guys spend gems or anything, just you go in there, type that in, enter that, and now you're supporting me. And the code will expire in seven days. So after seven days or after a week, you have to re-go in and type that again. If you're gonna be buying gems or whatever, just go check out to see if you're supporting it. And at the top left, you see how it says supported BT1. Um, if, if you guys aren't a fan of me or you don't like me and you wanna go support some other creator that you really do enjoy, definitely go do that. Like I know Lex has his, I think his is Lex. Kairos has his, this is Kairos. Ray has his, it is Ray. Uh, Chief Pat has his, I think it's Pat. OJ has his, it's OJ. All of the, a lot of the tribe guys have them. And then I know Ark has one, Coach Corey has one as well. So basically just go pick your favorite creator, whether it's me, whether it's not, just go support someone because this is really awesome that Supercell is doing this. And as long as it's supporting someone, it's great for the game, it's great for us, it's great for everyone. And whenever you guys do gem the future legendaries or future brawlers, just put in someone content creator code, like I said, every seven days. And that's basically it. Uh, Supercell has also given us these links if you guys don't wanna go in and type it yourself. I'll have a link in the description with my code um, and you just click on that link, it'll automatically enter it for you. That is a little bit easier way, but just going in and typing it is not very hard. So that's what the Creator Boost program is. Uh, for those of you aspiring creators, who are wondering like, oh, can I get a code or what what requirements are there to get a code? It's kind of on a limited basis right now for those of us that have worked with Supercell for a long time. And then Frank kind of shed some light on this as well on Twitter. So Money Capital is, even if it is one person using my code, it would mean the world to me. Is there any chance that smaller content creators are also going to get a creator code at a later date? Or is this something just for creators already assigned by Supercell only, just wondering? And he responded, he said, hey, this is just stage one. It says strange, but he, he corrected himself a Later. This is just stage one. Stay tuned for more information on how we will work with our creators. And then someone also asked, by limited, you mean that this will disappear in the future? And they said, no, by limited, I mean that we only roll it out to people who are in our previous group of creators under NDA and just a small group of other creators. Full rollout will happen a bit later. So for those of you that are sparring creators and don't have a code just yet or whatever, be on the lookout. This is just stage one in the future. Hopefully like they can get as many people as possible to do this. So then you can truly support whoever you really, really like. For now, it's a little bit limited who has them, but that's the main ways of how the boost is. Easy way, whenever you go gem spending, we will get a little bit of that back. Now it does not work for money offers in the shop. You guys know how sometimes you'll get like the level packs that are like $10 USD or $13 Canadian, I don't know, whatever it is. Whenever you're supporting someone, they actually won't get any of that. It's only when you purchase gems in the shop and then spend gems. Does that kind of make sense? Like, so only if it's like a offer or a thing that costs gems that you purchase the gems with. But if they are free gems that you got from your free to play, Sadly, that won't go support us, but either way, I hope you guys do either choose to support your favorite creator or anything like that. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, like I said, expires every seven days. Check it out, awesome way. This is gonna help support, basically for me, me using my own code is kind of cool because it gives me like a discount. Because um, obviously I buy a lot of gems, 
And uh, I get a little discount now for what I'm spending because I get some of that money back. But either way, be on the lookout for tomorrow because I'm gonna do a big gem opening in honor of this. And I, in honor of the creator code, I am doing a huge giveaway on my Discord and I'm going to be doing a giveaway on my Twitter as well. So my Discord will be in the link in the description below. I'm giving away $150 over there, PayPal, or if you live in the United States, some US codes. Um, you just gotta be, join the server, check the rule box that you understood it, go to giveaway announcements, and then basically gonna pick three winners, $50 each. So go over there, join the Discord. And then on Twitter, I also am doing another giveaway. This one I think is just gonna be 100 bucks, two winners, maybe four, I don't know, but it's gonna be the same thing where PayPal or um, Google Play codes or iTunes codes for if you are in the US, because that's the only kind of like Play Store codes or App Store codes I can get. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. And the reason why I'm opening Mega Boxes right now, you may be wondering, Ben, you have maxed out Brawlers. Ben, you have all the Brawlers. Ben, why are you doing this? Guys, I need to get tickets. Because if you look here, we have big game hunting party coming up. So we are going to be doing a huge, huge ticket opening again. Uh, the last one I did was over a month ago because I am trying to save up my goal to basically support me. My goal is to try and get 5,000 regular boxes here. You guys know I do a ton of gemming anyways. So that's basically where this content creator boost is going to go towards helping my gem spending <laughs> but uh yeah basically i need to get tickets so that's why i'm opening up the mega boxes and everything else like that but other than that um yeah that's really cool that they're doing it hopefully we get some sort of update news for real update news that what we have is frank said we can expect a brawl talk for sure by the end of the year so very vague <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully we get something for our October. I think that'd be really cool, like the Halloween skins and everything. There's been so many cool ideas with that. But if not, hopefully we get it like early November, maybe mid-November. I'm hoping not December. I feel like that'd be a really long way away. But, but that's really all we have for now. Um, they did just do the balance changes. Let me know what you guys think of that. But yeah, guys, giveaway, giving back to you guys in honor of this creator code on the Discord, giving away a bunch. And then on the Twitter as well. So go follow me over there. And I might do something soon on Instagram. So you might as well follow me there. Go follow the socials. Oh, we do. But we're getting some tickets here. Back up to 300. I do have to keep some of my gems alive as well. Actually, tomorrow though. Like I said, tomorrow you're going to see a big mega box opening. Just saying. So we're going to hopefully pull some Sandy. But today we're just trying to acquire tickets. Um, interesting. And this is the first time that I'm actually spending gems and then getting something back it's, it feels weird it feels weird for sure but all right so once we fin finish off these mega boxes only got one ticket there that's not what we want six tickets that's what we like to see so now we are down to 125 so one more mega box and then this weekend i'll be able to get a hundred more tickets obviously in the shop every time they give you those tickets i do see the special offer mega box that's for tomorrow that's why i'm saving it but now we got a bunch of tickets let's get into a match here i don't know i, I just think it's awesome and it really shows that supercell cares and wants their creators to help out their creators you know what i mean so here we go though try not to die i am playing takedown i've really grew fond of takedown um also trophy push coming soon I trophy pushed a little bit on stream the other day. It was a little rough, I'm not gonna lie. The beginning half of it, but the second half, or they had us in the first half, not, not gonna lie. But no, the second half of the stream was really good. Got a lot of trophies, but today, I might stream. You might see me a little bit later in the day. It really just depends. So I'm trying not to die here, because I have a decent amount of power cubes. Also trying to get my super before I can get to this robot. Oh, that Leon's weak. All right, so hopefully I get to this robot so I can launch some supers on him. There we go. I'm just doing okay. I just don't want to get bodied and die. Oh, no, this Jesse. All right, so at least the Jesse whiffed us. But he's at 33%. I'm only doing okay. Oh, my gosh, that Leon. So dead. I'm going to die. Okay, that's 21%. As long as I don't die here, we'll be golden. I just totally whipped all of them. Come on. I'm just doing okay. Give me in this green. Give me the green. Hopefully we got two. Not sixth. Yes. That was close. I made some questionable plays. I was auto-aiming when, auto when I shouldn't have. 
basically that kind of that could have cost me but hey we got two trophies that's all that matters be on the lookout here though we're getting we're gonna get first hopefully but on on this on the mexican standoff map i really do like how they cluster spawn a ton of power cubes like this because you can get a ton of power cubes really early on but it's kind of risky like you don't want to be over here for so long that you just like you don't have time to take over the boss so this is kind of like a risky play here, and we just got really lucky with that bot spawn coming over here because now i don't have to walk super far but oh my gosh they keep spawning it's like christmas over here dude gosh okay we're up now thank you pen or jesse you literally have saved you saved me because now i can still get all these cubes and still fight oh my gosh dude this is like this is like a miracle all this boss is in my corner and i'm just getting fed on the cubes for sure now i have to keep in mind of that bb she does she does melt but keep walking this way, dude. Keep walking. Charge. Do charge. Dang it. Keep shooting. I don't like when he shoots, but I like when he charges. All right, we're going to leaf that clone. I'm, I have 15. I guess we're good enough. We have to go for more damage. I have to hit some brawlers. I need to get my super. That. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, get to the wall. Get to the wall, Ben. Get to the wall. Almost died. BB got me. Dang, dude. But we are in keep up the good work. I got a little bit. I'm going to guess we got third. We got second? How did we get second? We didn't even do that much damage. Like, we weren't even shooting the bot for that long. We didn't get our super once. Wow. Okay. Yeah, for the way that I go trophy pushing, I usually push, like, brawlers that I, I don't know, I'm comfortable with to, like, 600 right away. And then maybe I'll push them to 700. But then I'll do majority of the brawlers to 600. It kind of just goes into stage. Like, the brawlers that take forever for me to push, I tend to do those last, which is probably not what I want to do, but I don't know. So, I'm going to be trophy pushing, like I said, a lot on Twitch and all that stuff. I think I already said that. I'm repeating myself. I forget what I already discussed. Um, either way, hopefully we can get there. Because I want to get, like, 19,000, 20,000, something like that. There we go. Get that launch and that super. That's what we love. So, this time we played it a little different. We didn't go for the cubes like we were the last few games. We're just going more for the cubes along the way. Um, this Pam's trying to bring her in the corner, which I'm okay with. As long as I keep building up my super. Oh, my cubes. Cubes for days! Normally I'm not this... Oh, gosh, I missed, but we're hitting that Pam. Normally I'm not this trigger happy with my... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, my goodness, bro. We are still in the lead. That means we can play a passive. We don't really need to get our super. Let's keep going. Our super is like our end play. If we get our super, it's GG. So as long as this... Jesse, I'm not really worried about. She does deal a little bit of damage off. Oh, there we go. End game right here. Yeah! Oh my gosh! No, there's no way. There's no way someone takes the lead from us. We did so much damage that game. We just kept racking up the power cubes slowly and slowly. And there we go, we got him to 600. So, like I said, I'm probably gonna move on to the other brawlers. The push will, like we have 10 days left. That's more than enough time to do some major, major headway. I feel like this is the first season where I don't have like a crazy amount of stuff going on in real life here. But there we go, we got a couple of brawlers up there. That's, it's laughable. But yeah guys, the content creator boost program Support me, support your favorite creator, just use code BT1 or Lex or Ray, Kairos, Pat, OJ, whoever you want to use. It expires every seven days, and then if you buy gems, just make sure you're supporting someone. It's really awesome, some of that money spent and the gems you spend goes back to us, which is really, really cool. Uh, giveaway on Discord, follow the Discord server, giveaway on Twitter. Big giveaways going down, maybe on Instagram coming soon, and then streaming my push when I do try to push up to 20,000 or 19,000. Basically, just get a new trophy high. We will see. But thank you guys so much for the support. You guys are awesome. Would not be able to be here without you guys, but I love you guys so much. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.